Rain man kichu, manachu, ketchwa Harawe, harawe, nyawe, kimsa Tashkani rakmi, wari tai tai Sutai ka inka, chuki chinchai Please don't ask me for a translation Cause I'm only rapping first, first, first nation Please don't talk to me about decolonization When you still speaking in the colonizer's language See you genocide us, then you colonize us See you sterilize us, and now you fetishize us See you stigmatize us, then homogenize us Trying to co-opt the movement and gentrify us I say no Land back, please Stolen land under siege. Land back, land back, land back, please. Stolen land under siege. All right, let's get back to the class. Uh, first scripture I want to go to, I want to go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 10. Jeremiah chapter 10. Because with our people, we always follow the customs of the other nation. Okay, even when when they, when we was walking out of Egypt with a multitude, we always had like multitudes of different nations with us, and we would all and, and we would always um, justify them to keep the customs. Okay, I mean we would always keep the customs and learn their customs and learn their ways and marry their wives. Okay. All right, you got that for me, brother. Yeah, want me to start at uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse uh, two. One and two. Verse two. One and two. One and two. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse one. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So he's talking to the Israelites, which is the black. The Hispanics, the Native American Indians, and the rest of the Israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth. So we just we're not just going to single out the ones that scattered abroad. Okay, go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Stop right there. It say, learn not the ways of the heathens. Cause that's what we would do. We would learn the way of the heathen. That just like today here in America, we learned the way or the customs of the other nations. Because we never celebrated Halloween. You can never read uh, Christ celebrating Halloween in the Bible. We call ourselves Christians according to the Holy Scriptures, but we keep the customs of the other nations. If you're a Christian, that means you're a follower of Christ. That means you walk the way he walked. Did Christ walk and keep Halloween? We can find him keeping Sabbath day. We can find him keeping Passover. Right. Find him keeping the Feast of Tabernacles. And then you got these wicked churches that had his stuff up in the church. That's wicked as hell. And it don't even matter if these brothers that come in and say, well, we're not dressing as goons and goblins. It don't matter. Because when you do that, you really casting out spirits up on the earth. You're casting demons. Okay, let's get that real quick. Because Christ was casting out demons. He was casting out devils. Let's get that in Matthew chapter 12. Just read verse 28. This is the book of Matthew chapter 12 and verse 28. But if I cast out devils by the spirit of God. So that's what, that's what Christ was doing. He was casting out devils. That's what he was doing. He was casting out devils because uh, you can be vexed with a devil. Your spirit can be vexed with a devil. And that's what these satanic holidays do. They vex your spirit with devils. And by us in this truth now, we brought this in with our kids. You know, we taught them this thing, these customs. Okay, but now it's time to repent, come back to the most high and keep your feast days. Like I say, we're at the end of the Feast of Tabernacles, okay? Now, Jeremiah uh, 17, verse 4, say we, we discontinued from our heritage, okay? So it's time to come back to our heritage that the Lord had gave us, all right? That's not discontinued from thy heritage. And we're just going to get a couple scriptures to show you that this is a wicked holiday and we shouldn't be even keeping this custom. 
Give me James four and four real quick. Because we know uh, when you read first John, it tell you don't be conformed to this world. Don't be, don't be in this wicked world. Because if you're a friend of this wicked world, you, you're an enemy of God. And that's what the scripture gonna bring out. Read that for me when you got it, brother. This is the book of James, chapter four, and verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Yeah, the friendship of the world. What's the friendship of the world? Keeping these customs, because we just did the video say, who brought this custom over here? The Irish, the wicked Irish, Esau, the devil. All right, they the devil, and and they put these little hidden, hidden things in the movies too. The witchcraft and and, and the worshiping idol. They put this stuff in the movies, and they, they they traumatize the kids with it secretly. Right. If you're a friendship with the world, you're an enemy of God. Okay, you're an enemy of God. Okay, let me get Proverbs eight and thirteen. Proverbs eight and thirteen. So if, if you're keeping these things and you're teaching your kids, you need to come out of this custom, okay? It's high time for you to wake out of your sleep. Get out of these customs. Come back to your true nationality. Come back to your tr true heritage because you're not black. Black is this, a color inside of a coloring book or crayon. Right. You're not African-American. You're not Hispanic, okay? Read that when you got that, bro. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear, if you fear the Lord, you're going to hate evil, because that's what Halloween is. It's evil, a wicked holiday. Wicked as hell. Go ahead. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Right. So it's a wicked holiday, okay? You should be hating this holiday. When it comes around, you shouldn't even be thinking about it. You should hate this holiday because it's a wicked custom. All right? From there, let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. When we verse 1. Uh... Read verse 21. Okay. This is the book of First Thess Thessalonians. Ah, this is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 21. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Do what? Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain from all appearance of evil. OK, you can't get out of this custom saying, oh, my, my son and my daughter, they're going to dress up like a lawyer. He's going to be Michael Jackson. He's going to be. No. No, it's a stain from all evil. If, if it just got little evil in it, it's all evil. You can't get out of it. OK, you can't get out of uh, uh, trying to change the, the wickedness of this, of this holiday. All right. You got to get back to your customs. Okay, read 22 again. Verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Right. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Now give me Ephesians 5 and 11. We're just going to go through a couple of precepts to show what the most high he think about evil things and witchcraft. Do he right. like these things? The deeds of God? That this stuff in the Bible? Say, that's what's wrong with you blacks. Y'all celebrate anything under the sun. Anything pop up, y'all with it. Any fad that come on the scene, you with it. Anything jump off, you with it. Right. Y'all need to stop, stop uh, being followers and be leaders because the scripture tells us we are kings and priests. Kings and priests of the earth. If we kings and priests of the earth, we're supposed to be leading Leading this thing in righteousness. That's why I say let your light shine. We're supposed to let our light shine in front of all these other nations. Not follow every custom that they come up with and follow that. All right. Read that. Uh, I said Ephesians chapter 5 and verse what? 11. Verse 5 and 11. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. 
and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Right, have no fellowship. That means don't even get involved with the custom. Even if you try to trick mm -hmm. you, oh, well, my daughter, she's just going to be Cinderella. That's not a wicked, that's not a devil. No, it's read that from the top. Come. Uh, and have no fellowship. Have no fellowship, none, zero. Zero fellowship with Halloween, read. With the unfruitful works of darkness. Right, because that's what it is. It's an unfruitful work. What is you promising by, by, by us celebrating this day? Right. Oh, we're making the, my kids, uh, just it's just keeping the kids happy. No. Right. Don't buckle yourself down and be, and, and be parents to these children. Teach them these customs of the Bible. We can't satisfy because they, because they want to keep uh, Halloween and birthdays. No, you got to stop that wickedness. All right. It say have no fellowship with the unfruitful. Read on. Come. But rather reprove them. But what? Rather reprove them. Rather reprove them. All right. Rather reprove them. Don't have no wicked fellowship with them. Now, uh, from there, jump up to verse six. Now read verse 12 and then jump up to six. Read verse 12 and jump up to six. God, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter five and verse 12. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Right, now jump up to verse six. It's a shame that, that y'all got to keep these, keep these feast days. Mm -hmm. Let no, uh, verse six of Ephesians chapter five, let no man deceive you with vain words. Let no man deceive you. Because that's what they do. They deceive you. They try to trick you in these schools. It, it's just for the kids. No. It's a wicked feast day. Go ahead. Because of these things come with the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. Right. Upon the children of disobedience. The wrath of the Most High going to come down on you. Because he's going to question you. What the hell you was keeping this uh, Halloween for? Why were right. you doing it in the church with the kids and we were just making it a fun day? No. He said abstain from all evil, all appearances of evil. You got some of these Israelites too, Cap, that be celebrating some of these days on the low. Right. Right. I'm, I admit, when I first came into the truth, my mom used to talk me into, yeah, just come on over for Thanksgiving. I know you don't keep that day, but... Right. Just come make yourself a play. I was participating in that wickedness. You no, know, I was trying to justify. I'm just gonna eat and just I ain't even getting involved. No, I'm participating in it because I'm in, I'm showing my face up. I'm I'm there. So you participating in it. All right. So don't ain't no way to get out of it. All right, go ahead, read, bro. Uh, all right, we're at twelve. You want me to read thirteen, sir? Now read verse seven. Keep read. Oh, verse seven. Okay, verse seven. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Right. Don't be partakers with them. Don't be partakers with them. The wicked, the Halloween. Don't be partakers. Go ahead. For ye were sometimes darkness. Because we used to be in darkness. Because it was one time that we were celebrating these things. Because I have an older generation of kids and I have now have a young generation of kids. And I was teaching my older generation of kids this, this wicked stuff. I was teaching them all this wicked stuff. But it's high time for them to wake out of sleep and come back. All right, go ahead. But now are ye light in the Lord. Right, now are ye light in the Lord. Now we the light because now we out of that dark wickedness. Go ahead. Walk as children of light. Right, now we got to walk as children of the light. Now we got to keep the Feast of Tabernacle. We got to keep the Day of Atonement. Okay, go ahead. Come. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Right, keep on. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Right, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Is Halloween acceptable unto the Lord? No, it's not. Right, go ahead. They have no fellowship. With the unfruitful works of darkness. Right. Have no fellowship. You hear that? 
not just say, oh, we're just doing it at the church and we just giving out candy. Say, it say have no fellowship, no, none. Okay, go ahead. But rather reprove them. But rather reprove them. That means teach your kids the right customs, the right things that need to be taught. Okay, so with that, let's go to uh, John, third John. It's only one chapter and uh, verse 11. We're just going to just try to go through a couple precepts to show you that this custom that we keep, in, we need to come out of it. It's like the uh, Revelation 18 say, come out of her, my people. Come out of these customs. What the hell is wrong with y'all people? What's wrong with you black people? Y'all just follow anything under the sun. If it was a day of put your face in poop, you would do it. <laughs> follow everything these other people. Y'all do everything they do. Right. Everything they bring to you, you do. And they bring it with the cross. When they came and got you, they had a cross in their hand in the Bible. That's right. Right. And you couldn't even learn how to read and write. Now we got the chance to read and write. We got the internet to push this word to the four corners of the earth. And y'all still following darkness. So that's right. the thing. And I got another class coming out talking about why our people is blinded in this truth because our family members, they blinded in this truth. They can't get it. They just can't get it. No matter how many times you tell them you Israel, they can't get it. And I'm going to bring that class up, but I'm going to stick to the topic. Go ahead. First this is the book of third John chapter one, verse 11. Beloved. Follow not that which is evil. Follow not which that is evil. Don't even follow these people. If somebody, your cousin, he want to go out and dress his son up or his daughter, let him do it. But you don't do it with your kids. Don't follow them. Because that's what that's what y'all blacks and Hispanics like to do. Y'all like to follow everything under the sun. Everything under the sun. Y'all like to follow the multitude of wickedness. Like the scriptures say, you turn... Uh, uh, evil into good and, and good. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Uh, what I'm saying, evil into good and, and good into evil. Go ahead, finish reading, read that, from the top because I threw it all off. Read from the top. Uh, 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 uh. This is the book of Third John, chapter one, verse eleven. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, mm -hmm. but that which is good. But follow what is good. These scriptures, these the Holy Bible, that's going to get you salvation, everlasting life, no pain, no sorrow. And, and, and one thing about the Christian church, they push what the kingdom of heaven is. The agenda of it is all wrong. They, they think you're going to be floating up in the cloud <laughs> with, a, with a white suit on, playing right. piano and Tupac in the background rapping. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why y'all blacks need to read. Said, yeah. If, if, if y'all want to have anything from a Negro, put it in the book. Because y'all ain't going right. to pick up a book and read. Yeah. Heaven do not consist of being up in no damn cloud. Grandma not up there. Okay. The kingdom of heaven going to be established here on this earth. That's why, right. Why do we keep these commandments? Why, why are we enduring to the end? Because we want to be in rulership. That's what the kingdom of heaven is. We got classes on that. The kingdom of heaven is being in rulership. Okay, we're going to be, like you see the movie Eddie Murphy, Trading Places, how he traded places with the white man. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be. We're going to trade places. But you Negroes do not love to be in power. Y'all like to be on the bottom. Right. Been in America all these years, and every nation can, that can come to America, they can prosper ahead of you. You know why? Because y'all don't like to be in charge. Y'all like to be followers. Y'all follow every damn thing under the sun. Bring it up. Right? Y'all follow everything, but y'all don't know, y'all don't want to be leaders. That's why the people, the brothers that's keeping these commandments, the Israelites, the ones that's waking up, they want to be in power. We tired of being on the bottom. Come. They want us to be on top and rule this earth in righteousness. Ain't going to be no Halloween in heaven. You ain't going to be up there talking about no trick or treat. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Right. Hey, it's my birthday. You ain't going to be doing none of that. That's right. Commandments in righteousness. Even the Gentiles, the heathens, they're going to be keeping these commandments. Everybody going to be keeping the commandments. And it start with you because the Israelites are the savior of the world. All right. So 
Finish that scripture off. Gone. He that doeth good is of God. He that doeth good is of God. Okay, read. But he that doeth evil has not seen God. Right, who that doeth evil, y'all don't see God. Because all you want to do is please your kids or please your husband or please your wife. You men, especially you men, you need to stand up. When these holidays come around, you too soft. Oh, I got to do it for my wife and the kids to keep them happy. The hell with that. Stand up and be a damn man. Uh -huh. Stand up and be a man. Say, we don't celebrate that. My, Me and my house, we serve the Lord. All right? Y'all men is weak out here. All right? From there, let's go to uh, Psalms chapter 97 and verse 10. Because we bringing out these scriptures to show you how the most high, how, how he hate evil. He hate it. And by you being an Israelite, you should hate what he hate. Psalms 97 and 10. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 97 and verse 10. Ye that love the Lord, ye hate evil. Hold on. If you love the Lord, you're going to hate evil. You're going to hate evil. Halloween is evil. All right. Read. He preserveth the souls of his saints. Right. He preserved the soul of his saints, the Israelites. Psalms 148 and 8. All right. Read. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Right. He delivered us out of the hand of the wicked. He delivered us. All right. He, he going to deliver us out of the hand of the wicked in this captivity now. He going to deliver us, but it's stipulations to that. Okay, read on. Light is sown for the righteous. Light is sown for the righteousness. Not for you wicked devils. Go ahead. And gladness for the upright in heart. Right, the upright in heart. Go ahead. Might as well read 12. Rejoice in the Lord. Right, rejoice in the Lord. All right, go ahead. Ye righteous. Righteous, righteous men, the ones that want to stand up. All right, go ahead. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Right, of his holiness, of his holy days. Okay, you got to give righteousness to his holy days. You got to remember these things. You got to teach your kids these things. All right. Matter of fact, uh, I think I, let me go to, let me look up this scripture real quick in Deuteronomy real quick. All right. Let me look it up. This ain't gonna take but a second. Cause I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't have this on my note, but I'm gonna bring it out. Uh go to Deuteronomy chapter four real quick. And read verse six. <clears throat> this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter four, and verse six. Yeah, read that. Keep therefore and do them. Go ahead. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Right. This is our wisdom and understanding in front of the nation, keeping these commandments. Go ahead. We shall hear all these statutes mm -hmm. and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. That's what the other nations say about us. But y'all don't see it. Y'all can't see it. We are a wise and understanding people because we're keeping these commandments. Now go to Deuteronomy 6 and 7 real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently. Teach them. Teach who? Your children. You got to teach them diligently. What do you got to teach them? Go ahead. Unto thy children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. Right, you got to teach them this Bible when you're sitting in the house. Go ahead. And when thou walkest by the way, uh huh. And when thou liest down, when they lying down, and when thou risest up, 
and when they rise up. That means they got to be in these scriptures all day. All right, give me Psalms 26 and 5. I think Mohar just gave me that one. And then we're going to get back on topic. I got off a little bit off topic, but we're going to get right back on. But I just wanted to show that God is all about teaching your kids these scriptures. It's not about teaching your, uh, teaching your kids basketball, football. That ain't your agenda. Okay, Halloween. Okay, read that real quick. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 26 and verse 5. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. Right. He hated the, the congregation of evildoers. I'm, I'm telling you, the Most High do not like this stuff. Go ahead. And will not sit with the wicked. He ain't sitting. Y'all ain't sitting. Y'all ain't getting in the kingdom. Bottom line. Go ahead. I will wash my hands in innocent, innocency. So will I compass thine altar, O Lord. Right. That I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving. Right. Now give me Isaiah 1 and 16. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 16. Wash you. Make you clean. Wash you. That's what we're trying to do with these classes. That's what, why the brothers on the street teach it. We're trying to wash you. Make you clean. Go ahead. Put away the evil. Put away what? The evil. You need to put away the evil. Put away Halloween. What's, what's going to hurt you to, to, to put away Halloween and serve the Lord? Right? Go ahead. Of your doings. Of your doings. Because you're doing this and you're teaching your kids. Okay, go ahead. From before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Right, we got to cease to do evil. We got to cease to do evil. Now let's go into some of these scriptures that's, that's talking about some of these evil things that we bringing out. And some of these things are a law, like in Leviticus. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 19. Give me Leviticus 19 and verse 31. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 31. Right, because the, the book of Leviticus is one of the five five books of the law. Okay, this is the we're going into the law. Okay, go ahead. Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Right. Go ahead. Neither seek after wizards. Seek after what? Wizards. Don't seek after wizards. Because when you're seeking after wizards, that's like conjuring up spells, spells of devil. That's what Halloween is. All right. Seeking after wizards, watching Harry Potter, that's seeking after a wizard. Even when you're watching the Black Panther, that's seeking after a damn wizard. Because if you really look at the stuff in there, it's a lot of idol worship in there, okay? Seeking after wizards, go ahead. To be defiled by them, mm -hmm. I am the Lord your God. Right, so that's a commandment not to seek after a wizard, okay? Halloween is seeking after a wizard. Now, give me Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. We're going to stand in the law. This is the book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Right. You should not what? Suffer to wit a witch to live. You should not suffer a witch to live because anybody that's want to be witch or, or seeking into the stars or to your, uh, what they call it, uh, like, uh, what's your birthday, the stars and whatever. Astrology. Yeah, whatever that is. Horoscopes. All right, let me get my palm red. That's, uh, that's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. All right, go ahead. Come. Don't read the next one. Don't read the next one. I just wanted to get that scripture out there. Come, come. Now let's go to Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 27. We stand in the law. Because according to the Christian, the laws are done away with. According right. to you. Not according to the Bible. Because you can't find nowhere in the Bible where the laws say they were done away with. You can run uh, all the Paul writings you want to. But Paul, was, he was put in the higher courts. Because he right. he was teaching against the law. And was found not guilty for teaching. The, he was teaching the law. So don't run to Paul. All right, read that. 
This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 27. Right. A man also or woman that has a familiar spirit. Right. Because for some of y'all Israelites, y'all starting to get these familiar spirits on y'all too. Because y'all going to all these different doctrines. Right. Y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to just keep the Sabbath day. We got brothers saying that we ain't got to keep the laws no more. Because y'all under the law of Moses. So y'all under these curses. Bro, you can read from Genesis to Revelation where it's telling you keep the commandments. We know some of the commandments that 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 was blotted out, okay? But you must if the commandments is done away and you eating pork, what's gonna happen? Do it change? You still gonna be you still gonna have high blood pressure. That's right. It's not gonna change because you pray over it. It's not gonna change. You still gotta keep that commandment, okay? Read it from the top. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, and verse 27. A man also, or woman, that has a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard. That is a what? Wizard. A wizard. You dressing your kid up as a wizard. Superman, Spider-Man. Go ahead. Shall surely be put to death. It surely be what? Put to death. You can get put to death for celebrating Halloween. This is this a serious matter. You can, you can be in your car coming home from trick-or-treating, boom, get in the car accident, you, you got put to death. That's how serious this is. All right, read on. They shall stone them with stones. Right. Back in the day, they were stoning these wizards with stones. But you can repent of this. You can repent for keeping this, this wicked holiday. Go ahead. Their blood shall be upon them. Right. Their blood should be upon them because back then, you couldn't... Uh, Get an animal or bullock or turtle dove to uh, the, uh, the sacrifice for this sin. This was a sin that you, your blood had to be put upon you. Okay, you can repent of this. All right, now let's let's jump from there. Let's go back to the New Testament. We're going to go to the Old. Now we're going back to the New Testament. Let me get 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 21. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord. You can't what? Drink the cup of the Lord. You can't drink the cup of the Lord. You can't be drinking the cup of the Lord, going to church. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then you out at the club. Then you out at talking about you getting dressed up for Halloween. You can't drink the cup of the Lord and what? And the cup of devils. And drink the cup of the devil. You can't you can't have both, you can't have the best of both worlds. You either gotta right. serve the Lord or you gotta serve the world. You can't be lukewarm in this thing. You gotta be hot. You gotta be hot for the Lord. How you be hot for the Lord? You gotta be studying. You gotta follow what this Bible tell you to do. Y'all think we just doing this for vainglory? No, we doing this because we trying to endure. And I already told you what the kingdom of heaven was. It means rulership, ruling the planet Earth. Because the kingdom of heaven is going to be here. All right? Go ahead. You can't drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Go ahead. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table. Right. You can't be a partaker at the Lord's table. Talking about thou art holy. You ain't holy. Go ahead. In the table of devils. And be at the table of devils. You can't do that. Go ahead. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Right, because the Lord is a jealous God. He's a real jealous God. He wants you to focus all your attention on him. Not to be focusing your attention on LeBron. Not to be focusing your attention on uh, uh, your car. All that is idol worship. You need to be focusing on these holy scriptures. Go ahead. Are we stronger than me? Right. We're not stronger than the Lord. Go ahead. God. All things are lawful for me. Right. All these things are lawful for us. It's going to profit you to, to follow the Lord. Go ahead. But all things are not expedient. Right. All things ain't expedient because that's what we, we want the kingdom to come fast, but we got to be patient. Go ahead. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Right. All things don't edify like Halloween. That don't edify you one bit. What one bit you going to get out of just dropping that one day? Right. Teaching your kids uh, something different. All right. Let's go back to Ephesians. 
Ephesians chapter 6. We almost done. Because Lazarus said I dragged these classes out, but we got to make these classes long. And then we can't be chopping them up because you got to get the whole edification of what, what's going on. Right. You think about it. When we do classes, man, we going for hours in these scriptures. We just know our people, their attention span is this long. They want to make a little quick 20 minute video because they ain't going to watch it. They ain't going to stay through the whole video. Right, right. Their attention span is not that long. Our people, our attention span is very short. All right, go ahead, read verse 11 and 12. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 11. Right. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh. Right, put on the whole armor of the Lord. All right, go ahead. That ye may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. Right, so you can stand against the, the wills of the devil. Because anytime that you proclaim to be in this truth, you're going to have the devil coming at you full force. Mm -hmm. right? You're going to be bringing all these devils out the closet on you to put right. you back in the wickedness. You're going to be bringing out all these wicked things to you. All right. They, sometimes they, uh, when you uh, have your phone, sometimes just a porn just pop up. Ooh, what the hell is this? Right. Right. Uh, they just push, push up all wickedness to keep you wicked as hell, man. Uh, you got to put on the full armor of the Lord. How you do that? By being in these scriptures. You can't. It ain't talking about putting on a a, 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 a bulletproof vest. You put on the armor of the Lord by being in these scriptures. All right. That's how you put on the armor of the Lord. You got to be into these scriptures. This, you got to be into this. You see, this Bible is all taped up and raggedy. For what? Because I'm in this book studying. You got to be in this book. All right? Keep going. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right. Go ahead. But against principalities. Right. Against powers. Against powers. Go ahead. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Get against the rulers of darkness of this world. Because we're comfortable here in America. All right? Go ahead. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, against spiritual wickedness. I told you when you celebrate these holidays, you bring out these spirits. You bring out the spirit of wickedness, all right? You bring out the spirit of wickedness on the earth. All right, let's go back to Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. I wanted to bring that back out about the kids too, okay? You need to be training not just yourself. When you in these scriptures, you're teaching your family, you're teaching your wife, and you got to be teaching your kids. Even when they come in, when they little kids, you got to tell them. When they talk, when they, my daughter see uh, something on uh, TV, she automatically saying, oh, th turn this off. They talking about Halloween. That's wicked. Because I taught her that. My wife taught her that. All right? You got to teach your kids that stuff. Even when I go to the gym and go work out, and they in that little playroom with the little teacher, and she and they in there making Christmas stuff. You think my daughter in there making Christmas stuff? She telling the teacher that's wicked as hell. <laughs> right, that's right. I, I go in there to pick her up. The lady like, oh, she told me y'all don't celebrate Christmas. Y'all celebrate Hanukkah. That's how you get it in their mindset. That's you right. Uh, read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-two, and verse six. Train up a child in the way he should go. Right. You train up a child in the way he should go. Go ahead. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right. He will not depart from it. What is talking about? These holy scriptures. You train them up in these scriptures and they're growing up in it. They ain't going to depart from it. All right. Go ahead. Come. The rich rules over the poor. That's it I want on that. It said on that. Go to Galatians 5 and 20. God. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 5 and verse 20. Go ahead. Uh, idolatry. You want me to start? You want me to start a talk? You want me to start uh Yeah, go ahead. You want me to start at verse 13? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Start okay. Up. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 13. For brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Mm -hmm. 
Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Right. Don't just use liberty for occasion. Don't just serve the Lord on your occasion when your job is failing and now you need to call on the Lord. Go ahead. But by love, serve one another. Right. Go ahead. For all the laws fulfilled in one word. Even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Keep going. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one another. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This I say, then walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of flesh. Right, walk in the spirit, and you won't fulfill the lust of flesh. Go ahead. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, mm -hmm. and the spirit against the flesh. Right, because we warn against our flesh. That's why we must meditate in these scriptures. Go ahead. And these are contrary the one to the other. Right, they don't get along. Your flesh and your spirit don't get along. Because your flesh, it won't the fleshly life. But your spirit, you got to be in the spirit to worship the Lord. Go ahead. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Right. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Go ahead. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, uh, lasciviousness. What is that? La uh, lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. <laughs> oh God! Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, em uh, em uh, em emulation, slaki, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, right. envyings. Murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Right. Because you see witchcraft in there too. Idol worship. Okay. Right. So we can't be in the in there on those things. Because when you when you celebrate Halloween, that's a part of that witchcraft. Uh -huh. That idolatry. All right, go to Mark chapter seven real quick. We all Mark done. Chapter seven. I think I got about three more scriptures and I'm gonna wrap it up. All right. We'll go to Mark chapter seven. Start at verse seven. This is the book of Mark, chapter seven and verse seven. How be it in vain do they worship me? Right. How be it in vain that you worship the Lord? Because if you're a real worshiper of the Lord, you won't be celebrating these days. Go ahead. Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Right. Because a man, we just seen the video, brought this wicked holiday out. This wasn't right. named by the Lord. But you pay, you, you take part in this faithfully faithfully you gearing up for the kids they say halloween is the second most uh uh profited holiday behind christmas christmas number one and halloween number two they making billions and billions of dollars off you black if you were to take that money in, that you spending on halloween and put it into your community we can build our communities up but now you want to take part in wicked wicked holidays Okay, read on. For laying aside the commandments of God. Now you lay aside the commandments of God. When we tell you you got to keep the Feast of Tabernacles, uh, love's done away with. Go ahead. For laying aside the commandments of God, you hold the tradition of men. Right, you holding the tradition of a man. Right, go ahead. As the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things you do. Right, read on. And he said unto them, Full well you reject the commandment of God. Right, you reject the commandments of God. Go ahead. That ye may keep your own tradition. Right, you want to keep your own tradition. Halloween is a tradition of a man, not a tradition of the Lord. Now go to Deuteronomy uh, 18. Chapter 18? Yeah, we almost done. Read verse 10 and 11. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18 and verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, mm -hmm. or that uses divination. Uses divination. That's part of witchcraft. Go ahead. Or an observer, uh, or an observer of times. Right. Observer of times. Right. Go ahead. Or an enchanter. 
or a chanter speaking in that that fake tone. Okay, go ahead. Or a witch. Or a what? Or a witch. Or a witch. Read on. Or a charmer. A charmer. Go ahead. Or a consulter with familiar spirits. Right. Not a consulter with familiar spirits because that's what witchcraft bring out, familiar spirits. Go ahead. Or a wizard. Or a what? Wizard. You can't be a wizard or a witch. Go ahead. Or a necromancer. Right, right. Now let's go to uh, Revelations chapter 20, 21. This is my last precept right here. But if you don't get it after this, something wrong with you for real. God. Repent. Right. We're bringing out plenty of scriptures. If y'all don't get it by now, you ain't going to never get it, That which is my next video, because some of y'all got them horse blinders on your eyes. The horse blinders like this. Y'all can't maneuver like this. Y'all got them horse blinders on. Because when we tell y'all this stuff, y'all just keep on keeping on in wickedness. Keep on keeping on. All right, read. Uh, start at verse... Seven. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 21 and verse 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Right. He that overcometh. What do it mean by overcoming? We keep talking about that. He endured to the end. He that overcometh should inherit all things. We're going to inherit this earth. We're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven because we endure it. We're not falling off. We're not keeping these commandments. We ain't standing this truth. Then we fall off. Let me go to the club. Let me go party a little bit. Then we jump back in after five years or 10 years. Then we come back. No, we stand strong in this truth. Okay, read on. And I will be his God. Right, he's going to be our God. Go ahead. And he shall be my son. Right, go ahead. But the fearful. But the fearful, right? The one that don't fear the Lord. Because the, uh, you got to fear the Lord. That's part of the commandments. Fear the Lord and keep thy commandments. All right. The unfearful, go ahead. And unbelieving. And the unbelieving, the one that don't believe, when we tell them these customs are vain, go ahead. And the abominable. And the abominable, right. And murderers. Go ahead. And whoremongers. And whoremongers. And sorcerers. And who? Sorcerers. And who? Sorcerers and sorcerers. That's part of uh Halloween, being a damn sorcerer. Walking around with that uh what that little wand or whatever mm -hmm. Superman Harry, Harry Potter. damn back. Spider Man yeah. shooting webs out. That's sorcery. All right, that's part of being sorcery. All right, go ahead. And idolaters and idolaters celebrating Halloween. That's idolatry. All right, go ahead. And all liars. And all liars. All this stuff going to sum up to all, to you. Because you're a liar when you keep in this day. Because this is not in the Bible. When you keep it, you lie to the most high. Okay? Go ahead. So I have their part. You shall have your part. Go ahead. In the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Right. You're going to have your part in the lake with fire and brimstone. Because you keep in this day. It's clear. It's clear to you right here. It's telling you if you keep this day, you're going to get put to death in the lake of fire. Go ahead. Which is the second death. Right. So that's all we got on this video. If you don't get it by now, you ain't going to never get it. All right. I hope somebody was edified with this video. I'm Brother Reuben. And we nations of kings and priests. And one thing about kings and priests we want to bring out too, a lot of people think because we we not trying to build up a big massive congregation. No, that ain't our agenda. Our agenda is to wake our people up and keep the commandments. We're not trying to build a product. We always talk about this. We don't care if we don't get no members. That's we right. Family. The ones we get, the people that we that we deal with, we more on a family level. We more on a spiritual level with one another. We ain't up trying to build a million man march, but we want our people to wake up. That's for sure. That's right. And with that, we're going to say shalom.